Hi, uh, my name is Matt Griswold with People Centric Consulting Group. This is Don Harkey, and today we're going to talk about the great game of business um, and really just kind of help fill in some of the gaps or maybe some of the things that are unknown about the great game of business. And I'd like to start with one, Don, if it's okay. Yeah. Uh, bonus plans. How do bonus plans? Uh, how are they a part of great game? So a lot of people get really excited when they see the great game because they see, wow, I, I want to put in a bonus plan, and so this leads to a bonus plan. That's going to be really exciting. But uh, the problem with is most bonus plans don't work. And the reason that they don't work is because it's really unclear what the bonus, how the bonus is given. There's something that is random about it. It's a, it's a judgment of, okay, I think your performance is really good this quarter, so I'm going to give you a bigger bonus. It doesn't tie directly to the actions of the employee. So bonus plans are largely unsuccessful. Uh, but bonus plans are used in the great game of business because it's used at the end of the process. So part of the great game is really understanding financial literacy. How does the, how does the company work? And teaching employees how what they do on a day-to-day -day basis impacts the company and then how the company impacts them. And how the company impacts them is both their pay, their compensation, their job security, and then at the end of the day, if they're really successful in their bonus plan. So it's really important to build it out with a lot of understanding of where that bonus comes from and what do they need to do to be able to achieve it. Yeah, so the bonus, so the bonus plan, instead of giving a, a money as a reward, is almost a reward, but this is where it came from and this is how you earned it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost symbolic in, in a way. I mean, you can, you can still spend the money, obviously, but the, uh, it, you, you're not going to really charge behavior by saying, well, you can get an extra $1,000 here or $100 or whatever it is here. Uh, there's a lot of studies that just show that people are better motivated internally. Uh, but you can link to that internal motivation to reward. The, the dollars become symbol, symbolic. Hey, our team worked really hard this year. We, we generated this much from profits and we all get to share into that. Uh, that builds a great camaraderie, that builds teamwork, and that becomes a symbol of how people feel about the team. So let me ask you one other question. Uh, not necessarily about bonus uh, plans, but about the great game. So what would you say to an organization looking for the great game? Maybe they understand that it, it can help us on the financial aspect, but how does it also help with um, employee projects and, and contribution. Yeah, at the, at the front end, it looks like a financial system of a way of kind of managing a company, right? But really, it's a cultural system. Uh, you know, you can link money with people. In many, many organizations, people don't know why they do what they do. I mean, we see that a lot. People, yeah. you go and you work in frontline employees and they're doing what they do and they're clear about what they're supposed to do, but they don't know how it impacts the organizations. They don't know why they're doing it. The great game helps to link the company's success with what people do on a day-to-day -day basis. From a fundamental human need, that helps us to be more motivated, more excited. It helps us to share more. People are playing the same game. Uh, it, it just helps to get everybody aligned and engaged. So knowing that the great game of business, uh, if this is something that you choose to install within your organization, it's going to require maybe a little bit more transparency than what you're used to giving to your employees. Yeah. Um, how might you address that? Yeah, so a lot of times people are, most owners who are going to think about going open book, which is part of the great game of business, are scared of two things. Is one is I don't want everybody to know what I'm making as the owner, yeah. and two is I don't want everybody to know what everybody else is making. Those are the two areas where typically people stumble into. And you can play the game, for, I mean, first thing, two things. One, you can play the game without exposing what every person inside the company is making. Uh, the way you do it is you take your P&L and you collapse it so that they're in a broad category, so you can kind of keep that private information private. Second thing, if you're doing something crooked as an owner or you're taking too much yeah. money out of the business, stop doing that. Yeah, it's just stop that. Just stop, yeah. just stop that. Like, just, just don't take so much out of it that the employees would look at it and go, wow, that's terrible. Uh, they should understand. To, you know, another thing that's really kind of cool is I've seen great game companies, they'll get this big number at the end of the year, this profit, and they'll ask the question, well, where does that profit go? And the idea is, well, the profit's got to go, some of that has to go into some pool somewhere so that maybe the next year, if they actually lose money, where does that money come from? Right. And you see the lights start to turn on for, for employees. Employees, the average company makes about seven or eight cents on the dollar is what the average company makes at the end of the day. They get a dollar in revenue, they only make seven or eight cents in profit. An employee, the average employee thinks that a company makes 36 cents on the dollar. So employees typically think that business owners are making more than what they're actually making. So opening the books yeah. only breaks down a lot of the myths that people already have in their head. Yeah, and not necessarily to prove them wrong, but to help them also understand where this is coming from so they can play a bigger part in the overall process. That's right. Yeah, yeah. so I hope, I hope this was helpful, a little discussion on great game of business and what it could potentially do for an organization. If you have any other questions, feel free to let us know. We'd be able to help answer some of those questions too. So, Don, thanks. Yeah, yeah thank you. And check out the new book, Get in the Game by Steve Baker and Rich Armstrong.